following is an exclusive presentation of Jessup Broadcast, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. Yes, it is time for the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. Butch Hubbard here with you along with Bob Morgan here on this Friday morning, the 26th day of February. And how you doing, Bob? I'm doing good. You getting ready for that long trip up there to Atlanta? I'm ready. You ready to broadcast those Wayne County baseball games? Two today, I mean one today and two two tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, play okay. love it tonight, six o'clock. Uh, Parkview High School, so it should be fun. Okay. Weather looking better up that way? Jonathan says it is. So. All right. So starting at six o'clock against Love It today, and then what time do the game start tomorrow? Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. All right. Well, we got some uh, special guests in the studio this morning. Let's. What's going on? Yeah, well, I came prepared because you came prepared. Yeah, these kids' future so bright. You got to wear shades because <laughs> I've been bragging about these golfers all season long. This is a talented group of golfers here. And we I got, knew a glow happened when they got, walked in here. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know if the lighting was uh, messed uh, up or. And the thing about just, they're so young. I mean, they've got a great future ahead of them. So we got four of the talented golfers in, and it's going to be a big season. Coach Bob Walker's excited, but. We're going to start with Finley Burke down there. Uh, Finley, good to see you. How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing great. Tell everybody your parents' name, what what year you're in school, how long you've been playing golf, and things like that. Uh, my parents are Chad Burke and Manny Burke. I'm a sophomore at Wayne County High School. Uh, I've been playing golf for about three and a half years, four years. Um, my grades are pretty good, always. Wouldn't be, actually. Well, it's good. hard to believe. I remember when your dad was playing golf for Wayne County High School. It's hard to believe he's already had a son playing golf in high school. Jeez. Time what's, flies. What's the strength? Of, what would you say the strength of your game is, Finley? I would say my my short iron's pretty good. Uh, and you've been going to all these tournaments all throughout the summer and things like that. So, you know, you've seen good competition. Your thoughts on this overall team? I mean, you've been, like I say, this is your second year with the team, but this say so this year compared to last year, how much better is it? Uh, we got a pretty good team this year. Um, you know, we're, we all try to get better every single day and try to practice every single day to get better, and I think we got a pretty good chance to win a state this year. Uh, I think you got a good chance as well. Let's move over to Aiden Jones. Aiden, tell us about what year you are at Wayne County High School and your parents. Um, my name is Aiden Jones. My um, my parents are Greg and Melanie Jones, and I am a I'm a freshman at Wayne County High School, and I've been playing golf for about three years now. And I see you out there almost every Saturday during the pandemic. You were out there constantly. You took a lot of lessons. Uh, yes, sir. Golf might be the one sport where the pandemic helped because I saw you golfers out there every day. <laughs> yes, sir. It else. did. It gave us a great opportunity to um, go out there and you know work on our game. So while we couldn't really do anything elsewhere, we would go out to the golf course and try to get better and try to improve our golf game. And what do you say the strength of your game is? Um, probably wedges, I would say. is I work on wedges all the time. I love working on wedges, and I feel like that's the strongest part of my game. Okay, though. Move on to the next gentleman. You'll have to introduce yourself. This is the new kid on the block. The <laughs> new kid, huh? He moved in, uh, but he's made a name for himself. Everybody out there at the Country Club is talking about his game, so he had the low score over there Tuesday at Okie Finoki. so introduce yourself, tell us who your parents are, and what, what grade you're in. in. My name is Brent Malloy. I'm a freshman in uh, high school. My parents are Larry and Jenny Malloy. I've been playing golf for about four years, I'd say. You said you moved over from Brantley County, is that correct? Yes, sir. So what made y'all move? Job, diff, diff, get a different job or what happened? Mm, yes, sir. My mom moved uh, her banks that she works at. Okay. Well, tell us the strength of your game. My strength in my game is probably my driver. I don't hit it very far, but it goes pretty straight. Okay. okay. No well, good. I can't believe it. You're going to sit there telling me you don't hit it far down the fairway with all <laughs> these other guys? How far do you hit it? Uh, like 270. 270. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not far. Uh, uh, well, yeah, good. compared to pros. Uh, okay, and then we've got Mr. Warbay here. Antonio, tell us about who your parents are or how long you've been playing. My parents are Timmy and Kim Rozier, and I've been playing for about five, six years. Right. I'm a sophomore at Wayne County High School, and man, that's about it. And so we got sophomores and freshmen here? That's what I'm saying. The future's so bright. Wow. They're so talented. At Wayne County High School. I mean, y'all went over there. Mm-hmm. 
to Okie Finoki, which is a pretty tough course, and the closest team was like 15 strokes behind in Wayne County. So how did that feel when you see those scores posted? It felt good. I mean, it just shows that what we've been working on is paying off. So we're just going to keep working at it and hopefully get better each day. Well, your coach keeps me up to date, and he's 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 excited. You know, he's he likes to play golf as well. So, what's he taught you in the last couple of years? He's just taught us how to good work ethic, work, good work ethic, and just working hard pays off. This is a you know it's a team sport, but it's really an individual sport as well. So, like I said, you got to go out there constantly. I see you guys out there at the country club all the time. Just talk about our courses. You know how much you like. To, or I tell people all the time that's a treasure out there. Paige McCray, the, the person in charge, you know, we joke all the time he can grow the grass on concrete, but the course is always in great shape. So tell us how much you like our course. I like our course a lot. I mean, I agree with you, Paige. Paige does a great job of keeping it in good shape, and all everybody that he has working at it, I mean, he always keeps the course in great shape. So, well, Tell us about the tournament this weekend. It's called the Camden Classic. How many teams will be down there in St. Mary's? There's supposed to be 10 teams down there, and I think they're all from around this region. Um, I know Pierce County is going to be there, which is always a good team, and Glen Academy is going to be there, and a lot of the schools from around that area in the Valdosta area. So, How about our new region? I know y'all just blew out where by 15 strokes. What do we know about veterans and Warner Robins and coffee? Do they have golf teams, or what have, what have you heard about the new region? We don't know a whole lot about it because we've never been there, but I'm sure they got some good teams up there, and I'm sure they're going to be good competition. All right. So will we see them in a region match, or how's the golf because you know, everybody's doing different because it's such a long way. Do you have a schedule? Do you know when you go? Do they come here? Do we go there? Or how does that work? I think we go there later in the season. But um, I think for our region and area tournament, we're going to have it at Okie again. So the region tournament's going to be over in Waycross? Yes, sir. Yeah. So how often will you play that course between now and then? Every chance we get. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, we've got some talented golfers. Uh, we've got other members of the golf team uh, who wants to list the other players on the golf team. Let's say well, due to COVID, we couldn't get everybody in here. But how many kids are on the varsity golf team, Finley? Uh, we got six kids. Us four and Jacob Strickland and Ashton Davis. Okay, and what year are they? I think Ashton's a junior, right? He's the oldest of the bunch. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Ashton's a junior and uh, Jacob's a sophomore. Sophomore. So, again, sophomore, sophomore, freshman, freshman. Is that correct here? That's correct. That amazing. Yeah. That's what happened to the class of 2021? Where are the seniors? <laughs> <laughs> well, again, your thoughts on, you know, I, you know, it's amazing you're so young, but the goal is state. You're already talking state. I know that's the buzz around the country club that these guys see you play every day and you're just amazed at the talent that y'all have and say, this, this team could possibly win a state championship and possibly could do it this year. What do y'all think? Y'all have... Y'all think you can realistically win the state title this year? I think we can. If everybody on the team just keeps working how they are, I think we have a really good chance at it. Right. Is it? So I think too. A, a key to a golfer, you know, you know as well as anybody, you have to keep your composure. If you hit a bad shot, you got to get kind of just have a short memory. Let it. Uh, a lot of a lot of golfers, older golfers, they can't really do that. I've seen people throw clubs, break clubs, things like that. You, you, you guys don't do any of that, do you? No, sir. No. <laughs> we hit a bad shot. We just. Forget about it and focus you on say, the next one. Yeah, sure. yeah. Darsh, gone it. <laughs> How about are y'all a stickler for the rules? You know, I know when you play other people, you know, sometimes you have to call. You know, I, explain that because that's happened in the past where somebody doesn't do something right. You have to call them out on it. Have y'all ever had that experience on a golf course? Yes, sir, we have. Um, I've had a couple of tournaments. Like, it's like where this, like, if you... Like, I've had to call, like, a rules official or something or somebody because, like, a kid, like, his ball was plugged, and I had to call a rules official to see if he gets free drop or something like that. All right. Have yeah. you ever had any controversy or anything? Did it ever get mm. kind of nasty, or, or how's that work? Or I've, never, we've never, I've never gotten, like, controversy. I see but. sometimes where golfers call penalties on themselves. Has anybody ever had to call a penalty on themselves? I haven't, no, sir. No. Okay. Do. Well, again, we appreciate you guys coming in. I said I, I wish Bubba could be here because he could tell us a lot more. Y'all seem to be quiet and humble, but uh, <laughs> I know how talented you guys are. 
just for those that, you know, he mentioned how far he hits his drive. Why don't you all tell us how far you hit your drive? Antonio, how far can you hit yours on a good day? On a good day, I'd say I can get it up there close to 300. That's so. what I thought, yeah. yeah. What, is, it the, is it the clubs that swing? Uh, what, what's the key to hitting it that far? Hitting it with speed and hitting it in the center of the club. Okay, though. What about you, Finley? How far are you hitting it down the fairway? Uh, I'd say about 270. 270. And Aiden? Um, probably about 260. 260. So do you all get in the weight room and work on that and try to – does that help you? Like, you know, Grayson DeChambeau, you know, he bolted up and he's mashing down the fairway. Sometimes he doesn't know where it's going. So is it more important to hit it straight or is it more important to hit it far? It's more important to hit it straight, but distance always helps. I mean, if people always say it's better to be 200 yards in the center of the fairway than be 300 yards and out of bounds, so right. accuracy definitely helps. Right. How about your putting? How much How much do y'all work on your putting game? Every day. Every day. So you stay on that green right there when you pull up the country club right there? That's right. How, how much time would you say you'd work on your putting every day, Antonio? I try to do... Every like as far as driving and hitting the ball and swing and chipping, I try to do putting just as much as I do everything else. So if I spend an hour and a half on the range and chipping and putting, then I'll try to do an hour and a half putting. I'm curious, you guys are so young and so talented. Who got you involved in golf? You know, how did you how did you learn the game? Who how did you pick it up? Who taught you? I mean, how did it start? Did it start with your fathers, or how did how did it all begin? One day I just decided I wanted to start playing and then started getting lessons from Hunter Stuckey and he's taught me everything I know pretty much. He's a good teacher for sure. He's right. a great golfer. What about you, Finley? Finley? Um, yeah, one day I came home from a baseball tournament and I told my dad I was like, I was trying to try golf. He was like, okay. And then I started getting lessons from Hunter Stuckey and that's how I started. Yeah. I remember that story. You were playing both. You know, you were a very talented baseball player, too, yes, but you just decided to give up baseball and go play golf full time. Was yeah. that a tough decision, or how did you come to that decision? Um, I, I, was, I started chipping and putting when I was, like, five or six. So I've, I was chipping and putting my whole life. And then my dad, he used to play golf a lot, and it was like it was fun, a really fun sport, and I just wanted to try it out and see how I liked it. It is one sport that you can um, use the rest of your, most of your life. Is it? Yeah. Right. You can keep he didn't have a, and I love, and I love your shirt. Yeah. Thank love your shirt. Thank you. He both came, both he Bob came, and I yeah. graduated he from came, He came prepared with the right shirt, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah. We both graduated from the University of Georgia, so we, we applaud you on your, on your shirt there. Aiden, who got you involved? Um, well, I, um, uh, younger, I played baseball, and I kind of realized I wasn't any good at it. So I wanted to try to play golf, you know, to see if I could, you know, find something I enjoyed. And I, I really enjoyed it. And I, I started taking lessons from Hunter Stuckey. And, you know, and then my game started improving slowly and slowly. And well, that's when I realized. Person. I know one thing. Like I said, every day I saw you, I mean, you, you spend a lot of time out there practicing. Yes, I mean, sir. So I don't know how many hours you spend a day practicing, but you really work hard at your craft. Um. It depends on the day. Usually, um, like after school, I'll probably spend a good two and a half hours out there mm-hmm. trying to work out my game. But hey, yeah. has anyone ever told you you got like a haircut style from the seventies? Uh, <laughs> I can look. I mean, I'm looking at. It, I'm thinking this is a student from the nineteen seventies when I was in school, especially in college. They didn't let they didn't let us at Wayne County High School at the time grow our hair that long. I think they did a few years later. But as soon as I got to the University of Georgia, my Went out, curled all up, did that kind of stuff. But you look like you got a hairstyle from the seventies, and I like it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what about how did you get involved in golf? My dad got me involved in golf. He, um, I had a seven seven iron and a driver one day, and I just started hitting them out there with my dad, and I really liked it, and tried to get better ever since. And I took about two year break when I was. I can't remember what age I was, but I took about two years off and started back when I was 10 or 11. 11, I'm pretty sure, and i just been getting lessons from my dad all the time. All right. How do you like being Wayne County? I like it a lot. The team here is really strong. It's just everybody's so good nowadays. Bigger, stronger, faster is better, 
I mean, you see Antonio over here. He's he's pretty big. He hits it a long ways. <laughs> yeah, 300 yards on the fairway. Yeah. I just try to keep up with him and do everything he does a little better. So. Well, you guys got your goal on state. So who's the tough team in it? Who would we? Who? who who's? Where's the competition coming from statewide? Um, I would say Frederica. They have. A, I think they have a pretty good team this year, and I think all their players probably shoot low 70s, mid 70s. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all coming in. Like yeah, I said, thanks. I, I, get, I get to see y'all out there, and like I said, and I, I know people at the Country Club, and all they do is talk stories. And like I said, over the summer, I got the updates where you kept going to all these tournaments and doing real well. I think several tournaments y'all finished one, two, and three. So, um, you know, that's pretty impressive. So, like I said, y'all have great scores. And uh, how many, when you play in a golf match, do they take the top four scores, top five scores? How, how do they score the team score? Is it four or five? I can't recall. So six players go to the matches, and then they'll take the top four scores out of those six. Okay, the top four. So you got to have four guys having a good day every day because if one guy has a bad day, then you, that could mess up the whole team score. Is that correct? It could, but, I mean, with our fifth and sixth player, if one of us mess up, hopefully they'll be there to right. kind of fill in our spot for us. Okay, now how about the, gr the girls' team? We've got several girl golfers out there playing as well, Finley. Do you know those? Uh, yes, sir, there's, I think there's, uh, there's Emily Harris, Allison Sullivan, uh, Marissa Mo Mobley, Mobley, however you say it. Um, that's the main three girls that plays. There's Lily Perhon, Journey, Jordan. But, yeah, those three, Allison, Emily, and Marissa, they're pretty good. They have yeah, pretty good, good deal. Team. Well, guys, again, I've been bragging all summer. I've been, I was going to keep on bragging because every time I get the scores, it seems like Wayne County's on top in golf. So hopefully we can win the region, win the state. I mean, I think, like I said, the future's bright. You guys are so young but so talented. So I'm just curious, you know, you're still years away from graduating. Do you have any, what's your plans after graduation, Finley? Let's ask, you have those plans already in place or you got your goals in mind or what? Uh, yes, sir. I, I want to go to uh, college and play golf. I don't know where I don't know where I'm gonna go yet, but I wanna go to college and play golf. Okay. Aiden. Well I also wanna go to college and play golf, but um I don't know where either. I guess just anybody that'll take yeah. me in. Yeah, I'm pretty young right now to to know that. You know? Yeah. There's a lot of schools around here that have pretty good golf yeah. uh, Georgia Southern has a pretty good golf program, so how about you, Antonio? What's your plans? After high school I plan to play golf in college, hopefully at Division One level, and I'd really like to play at UGA, so every day just work towards doing that. Have you ever seen their course up there? I have not. It's awesome. I hear I hear good things yeah, about I mean, it all the time. It's not, it's hills. Hills. Up, down, flat, round, yeah. Yeah, we used to run cross country on it when I was in University of Georgia up there on the cross country team. I'm just curious, one final question: You guys have played so we much need golf. Ask. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. We, we skip. What's your plan for you? I'm sorry. And your name again? I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, you're the one. Brett. Brent. Brett. Okay. Yes, Is it Brett or Brent? Brett. B R E T T. Yes, sir. Brett. I got you. Okay. Yeah. And your last name? Malloy. Malloy, okay. And what's your plans, Brad? My plans after high school is probably the same as Finley and Aiden's and Tones is just go to high school somewhere that would maybe take me, probably playing at a D1 level. Okay. okay. I got one final question. You guys play so much golf and you've seen so many courses. I'm just curious, what's the nicest course that you think you played on all uh, the time you've been playing golf? I play at the University, University of Georgia course. Pretty nice course. Oh, you have played there, okay. Yes, I have. Aiden? Um, I would say TPC Sawgrass in Jacksonville. Oh, really? How many times have you played that? Um, I've played it once, and I've played it in pretty much the middle of winter. How did you do on the island? Green did you hit 17? 17? I did. Oh, All right. right. I did. Bob hit yeah. 17 when he got, played there one time. Taxi. When the, the Super Bowl was in Jacksonville, they yeah. just play. Uh, that's, that's my claim to fame. <laughs> I, 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 even, I even carved the hole. So that's, <laughs> that's, 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 don't ask me what I did the rest of the time. <laughs> but I had a good time. How about you? How many, Brad, how many, what's the nicest course you played on? I'd say TPC, too. I played it with, in, with a um, North Florida Junior Golf Tournament. I did hit 17. Good. I hit 17. <laughs> there you go. Antonio? 
I'd, I'd probably have to say a lot of the courses down there around the Sea Island area, a lot of those courses are really nice. Jekyll, those courses are nice. Which one do you think is the nicest course of the three? Do they think I still, they still got three courses down there? Yes, sir. Yeah. You're talking about a Jekyll or Sea Island? Yeah, Jekyll, right, Jekyll. Jekyll's 218 and a 9, isn't it? I thought they were 218 and a 9, okay. yes, sir. The nicest one at Jekyll to me is Pine Lake, so. Pine Lake. Okay. And on the, on the island, same one on the sea island, uh, sea island. I'd probably say Seaside or Ocean Forest. Okay. Uh, okay, guys. I know y'all get back to school on that, but I do appreciate Bubba lining this up for me. Like I said, I just, I'm excited about this golf team and the season that you possibly could have. Uh, I said, I think you're going to make a nice run, win the region for sure, and then make a nice run at state and possibly win it. So we wish you the best of luck. Keep on working hard and, uh, Maybe I can get some lessons from y'all. I mean, I might have to call and then call Hunter. Y'all, yeah, every one of them said it. Hunter, Hunter stuck his yeah. So Hunter, <laughs> just about kudos to Hunter for getting these guys ready to play on the high school golf teams. Uh, uh, that's a great endorsement, I'm yeah. sure. So again, appreciate you guys coming in and wish y'all the best of luck and good luck Saturday down in St. Mary's. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Good luck. Look forward to having y'all back on again sometime. Y'all can go on out, Bob, and i got to finish up the show here. Yes, sir. Uh, I know they are just anxious to get to class. All right. So. WIFO 105.5 FM and Jess of Big Dog Country Radio, world-famous Butch and Bob show here for this Friday morning. It is the 26th day of February. So we talked about it briefly at the beginning of the show. Let's uh, talk about Wake County baseball once again for today or tonight and tomorrow. It's called the Georgia Peach Classic. We've been up there the last several years again. From my understanding, all the games we're going to play are going to be played at Parkview High School. So we're going to play three games there. And the first game's tonight. I think we're the only game on the schedule tonight at 6 o'clock. Wayne County against Lovett. Lovett's ranked number one in double-A baseball. And tomorrow we play Parkview, the host team, at 1130 at their school. And, again, they're ranked number three in 7A baseball. And then depending on if you win or lose, it's kind of like a little tournament. We'll find out who the third opponent is on Saturday around 230 uh, after we play Saturday morning at 11.30. So, okay. three games. In, in and all the games will be days. right here on 105.5 FM. And you can listen to the games around the world on our website at BigDogCountry.com. Just click on live stream and Bob will be there no matter where you may be. Yep. I was glad to know my ride's still intact. He just donated a lot of money. He but, just donated money instead of going to make he, the polar he's, plunge? He's not polar plunging as well. <laughs> Y'all leaving soon, aren't you? Yeah, we're leaving quickly. Yeah, so, to get on up there and got to get through that Atlanta area. So yeah, yeah, sure, yeah we'll be traveling quickly to Atlanta. Okay, looking forward to it though. Like I said, it's big win this week against uh, Statesburg. Lost a tough one Monday to Richmond Hill, but three and one on the early campaign. So it should be you know it's a good test. It's good. Good competition, good baseball. They're playing some great competition up there. Uh, kudos to the coach to put them against that great competition. That pre really prepares you for, for uh, region and, and then playoffs. Definitely does. And then the next home games is coming Monday. Statesboro will be in time Monday at 6 o'clock. So that's the next home game on the schedule. All right. 6 o'clock today, right? 6 o'clock today. Okay, against? Love it. Love it. All right, and uh, we uh, wish the Wayne County baseball team the best. We wish you and your traveling partner a safe trip, safe travels up there and back, and, um, and have a good broadcast up there. Anything else, Bob? No, that's it. All right, take care. All right, the world-famous Butch and Bob Show brought to you by Murphy Builder Supply, by First Southern Bank, Damon's Famous Fingers and Wings, and Sean O'Quinn and Associates Country Financial. The world famous Butch and Bob Show!